Hi, this is Brad Linder with LinuxSmartphones.com and Lilliputing.com, and this is the PinePhone Postmarket OS Community Edition smartphone. This particular model has 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage, and as you probably guessed from the fact that it's the Postmarket OS version, it shipped with Postmarket OS pre-installed, and that's an operating system. The version that comes with the phone uh, has the Fosh phone shell user interface. Uh, I also showed you another video with Manjaro Linux with the same user interface, but one of the nice things about this phone is that it can run a variety of different operating systems and variety of different Linux-based user interfaces. So I wanted to show you KDE Plasma Mobile, which is one of the other um, fairly well-developed, uh, although still very much a work in progress options. So uh, what I did is I went ahead and I downloaded and installed on a micro SD card, uh, KDE Neon, a recent nightly build to uh, show you most of the latest features of Plasma Mobile. So it's a uh, sort of phone-friendly user interface. You can see here that I accidentally just uh, launched the phone book application here. But you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen and access your list of applications. You can tap here for thumbnail icons and sort of get a task manager, swipe back down to close it, swipe from the top and you access your quick actions area. And not everything is working on the Pine phone right now. So there's a flashlight app that doesn't turn on the light. Uh, sound, it uh, seems to work with headphones, but not the speakers. Uh, but for the most part, uh, you know, things seem to work. So we've got automatic screen rotation. I can adjust this displayed brightness. Uh, if I tap that screenshot button, I found that it's a pretty surefire way to make everything crash. So I'm not gonna do that right now, but I will show you uh, the Angelfish web browser, which like a lot of applications that I've tried, takes a sort of a long time to load, but then once it's up and running, it runs reasonably well and uh, gives an example of how you would use Plasma Mobile. Uh, again, I'm running KDE Neon here just so I have access to the latest Plasma Mobile features. It's based on Ubuntu. Um, it's a nightly build. It's not necessarily stable, but we've got pinch to zoom. I can navigate reasonably well and it supports video playback, although again, uh, audio isn't necessarily working. So although in this case, I think it just crashed the web browser. So I'd rather have it crash the browser than crash the entire operating system. Didn't take a screenshot. There we go. I'll show you a little bit of video playback here. Now it says tap to unmute, but if I do, you still won't hear anything. Now you can see that sometimes the user interface gets a little wonky. So for instance here, you know, we've got a nice sort of phone friendly version of the playback settings, but then if I tap the menu here and say so I want to play 720p, it goes into something a little less sort of mobile friendly. Uh, it also tends to drop a, little, a few more frames if I switch to 720p, but I can't necessarily, I can't really tell if that's uh, internet speed or browser not keeping up or what, but 480p seems to work reasonably well. Uh, the browser supports touch gestures, so I can uh, go to previous, go forward, add an icon or a website to the home screen and so on, or I can just close it that way. Swipe up from the bottom, show you that this is indeed a uh, Linux-based operating system because we've got a terminal here. You can navigate, run terminal commands. There's also shortcuts for cancel and escape and arrow keys among other things. And we can exit by typing exit. Weather application, which is one of the default apps. Again, it takes a little while to load, but once it does, it provides a somewhat informative and relatively attractive view. And then this uh, item marked discover is sort of your package manager slash app store slash update manager.
And again, if we tap down here, we can see a list of live thumbnail images showing different running applications. And you can switch between them. From here, I can get a list of applications. I can search for available applications or I could install updates. So we have access to all sorts of different applications that are available for KDE Neon. Some of them aren't necessarily mobile friendly. So for instance, as I mentioned, I installed GIMP. But what it looks like on a mobile device is uh, practically unusable. So um, you might have to do a little bit of hunting and searching to find applications that are going to work well on a screen this size. Uh, this particular software that I'm trying, KDE Neon, the nightly build with Plasma Mobile does not support convergence. So uh, plugging in an external monitor just doesn't seem to work, but it's possible that other, you know, in the future you might be able to uh, use this with an external display, in which case an application like GIMP might come in handy. Uh, and I think it might just crash the operating system. So, nope, there we go. Just turned off the screen from inactivity. So, not the most usable application, but again, sort of shows that you can run full-fledged desktop apps here. And let's try a screenshot. Oh, there we go. So this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and LinuxSmartphones.com. You can check out uh, the websites for more information about this, for links to uh, download KDE Neon uh, Mobile or Plasma Mobile, I'll also in the description for this video. And uh, stay tuned for more information about the PinePhone and other Linux smartphones.